We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to The Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, I get a chance to dive in and check out Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition from Square Enix. It released today, April 7th, 2022. And a big shout out and a thank you to Square Enix for hooking me up with the code for this. I just about a year, year and a half ago, maybe up to two years ago, anyway, fairly recently, played Chrono Trigger for the very first time. And without having that nostalgia pop from playing it way back in the day, I felt like it was a solid game. It was it was pretty good, but uh, I didn't have that, like, this is the greatest of all time feel. But a lot of folks said that uh, I should check out Chrono Cross. It's another classic. A lot of people really like it, but it's different. It's got a lot of different mechanics and some interesting things, and I might like it more. So here we are, and, uh, you know, always a, always a good idea if I can get my hands on amazing titles from the past i i always like to do that i do that with a lot of uh other titles from stuff like nis america and so on and so forth so yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to checking this out hopefully uh, i enjoy it hopefully you guys enjoy the ride uh so when i started the game there's a launcher that comes up and you get to choose chrono cross or the radical dreamers i launched both of them to see where i should start it does appear chrono cross is the place to start the Radical Dreamers is almost like a narrative story-driven thing where you choose your own adventure. There's different choices and stuff. So I'm curious as to how that's going to play out. Uh, I, I guess we'll circle back to that when we get done with the game. So that's it for me. Let's uh, dive in and begin again. Once once again, big shout-out and a thank you to Square Enix for hooking me up with the code for this. They've been incredibly generous to me as of late, and it's... It's been awesome, so seriously, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. All right, new game. We're turning the vibration on, and my very first time playing this game, so I'm going to make mistakes. I'm not going to be an expert at this. It's all going to be through fresh eyes, so if you guys want that experience, come on down. I got it for you. All right, that is a lot of control stuff here. All right, uh, talk, confirm, Run, cancel, open, key item window, menu, sure. Okay, in battle, confirm, cancel, choose character off of that one. Okay, change view. Hmm. And then what's this on the right? Uh, move, pause, change lead character. Okay, low speed mode. Okay, high speed mode, sure. Uh, no random battles. Oh, you can turn random battles off. And what is battle boosts? There's even auto battle? No, 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 no. We're not going to do auto battle, probably. We might do auto battle, but probably not. I'm not a massive fan of that. Oh, and then it gives me keyboard controls on top of it. Okay, that's cool. Now I'm here for it. Uh, we'll keep the, the main character or all the characters' names that are already there. And generally speaking, if a character has a name, for the most part, I will usually use that name. Sometimes I choose not to, but nah. All right, so Surge is going to be the character's name. It looks like we're... I don't, I don't know what that is. is. Is it floating? Is it just built underground mostly? Now whatever it is, it's there and it's really, really, really vibrating my controller. Like hardcore vibrating the controller. A lot of dragon statues facing whatever that is. And there's something floating above it too. Weird. Oh, and we're apparently at this. This is something that we're doing, I guess. Uh, it's Nikki. Uh, what is it, Serge? You look troubled. This is it. There's no turning back now. I don't know what this is. Oi! Come on, Serge. Nikki. Just you wait, Lynx. Today is going to be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, you know what's uh, a little bit weird? I had a completely different character when I launched this to see what it was versus the other game. I, I like got to this point and then I backed out. I, I don't know anything beyond this spot. I, I saw this. I had a uh, like or oral oral plaid or something. I, I don't know. This is a different character. We had kid, but we didn't have Nikki. So do you start with a random character? That's interesting. Surge. Or Serge, we, we, can, we can throw a little oomph on it. Uh, 
Uh, oh, 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 I, I'm in control. Oh, God. Oh, we move super slow. Oh, we can move even slower. Oh, no. Oh, good. There's a fast. Is there a, is there a run? Oh, there is a run. Oh, okay. All right, I guess we'll go left. Uh, what's that crystal-like thing? I don't know. Some kind of switch? Bugger. So close and yet so far. All right, kid. I'm here for it, though. Uh, the music's great. The music's got me pumped. All right. noises. Oh? Are there random... Like, a, it, it seemed like I'm going into whatever this is. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I want to. I want to see what combat's like. Okay. Uh... Sure. Um... I, again, I don't know what I'm doing, so apologies if I do bad things. Oh, right, we, we switched characters. How did I do that again? Am I not? Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I just did, but it looked like I hurt whatever this is. Okay, we just keep attacking until we can no longer attack? Oh, we did it, all right. Very interesting. Now, can, can we... Do we have a heal? Man, they just throw you right in the deep end here, don't they? Man, this is uh, a lot. Meteor shower, my god. Yeah, we beat him, whatever it was. What kind of weapon is that? That's an interesting thing. Nikki's got a guitar, and, and Nikki's just a rock dude, I guess. Uh, okay, so HP one up for kid. Uh, use remaining power and elements from this battle for healing. Max healing without using consumables. Use consumables in stock. Do not your party max about. Elms use cured plus. I don't I don't really understand what that was about, but okay. Ah, I tried to avoid it. I failed, obviously. Right, hopefully a bat's a little weaker than a cyborg. I mean you would think that it would be. had to do. Don't 100% understand what's going on, but it's cool. Spoils found. Did we, anybody take any damage? Nope. Alright, we got a menu. Clip. We have the silver swallow, the mythical mail, no accessories. We have no... Oh, oh it's down at the bottom. Made out of Okay. 
indeed. Tablet, photon array, there's so much going on immediately. I hope this stuff gets explained, but if it doesn't, I mean, we'll, we'll slowly figure it out as we go. Uh, when they said there's a lot of systems at play here, uh, they were not joking. There is a lot going on. So we need to, like, actually, you know? Okay, so I guess we... We came from there. Okay, so we do have to go this way. Down through here. Very strange. Uh, is this way? Oh, some bats down there. It's good. It's good. All right, we know there's a bat over here hanging out. I'll try to avoid them. Is there any any reason to come over this way though? anything over here. I'll be using like little intermittent speed bursts to get around. That's okay. That seems like it's a dead end. Alright, well that was uh, kind of a very fruitless uh, endeavor on our part. So where does this lead? Maybe we can do over here. I know there's nothing like visibly up there. Uh, this looks like this might be where we want to be going, so let's let's backtrack. Let's do battle with this guy. Hey, man. All right. I like this little random spiders crawling on the side. I'm just gonna spam buttons right now and hope that this ends up working. Try magma burst, sure. Out six point zero, I don't. Alright, Nikki, what do you got, man? Do your, do your basic attacks on them. They don't do a lot of damage. I think we got him. I think Kid took it down. Alright. No uh, stat upgrades there. Max healing without using consumables. Cure plus element used. Oh, that seems like a consumable, right? Is it not? Is it a heal? Like a, like a spell? Well, we had to try. Okay, this is the... Okay, I gotcha. This is the switch or whatever. Oh. Did we just, did we just yoink the giant crystal? Okay. Sure, yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, this is now shimmery. Alright. Uh, oh, it teleports us. Okay. Seemed dangerous. A little bit. Oi! What the bloody hell just happened? I'm oh, sorry. What are we doing out here? How? Whoa! Wow! Bugger, we're up so high. Is this thing floating? 
Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? This sure is some fort. Uh, Serge? You all right, mate? You've been acting weird all, all weird. Uh, we, we don't know what's up ahead, so just stay on your toes, eh? Sure, whatever. I guess, kid. Cool. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Serge. Why is her heartbeat? Uh oh. It got louder. Uh, what? Serge. Good morning, Serge. Come on, sleepyhead, get up. Oh boy. So that was a premonition of the future. The Awakening. Oh, you guys can see it's still cheap. Cool. They didn't do a lot, but it does seem brighter in here. Can I just go back to bed? No. Oh, oh, I'm doing something to the bed. Surge took out Surge's not so secret savings. <laughs> I received 200 gold. Oh, look at me. Ah, uh, no, not right now. There's no indication of the stuff that you can use. Oh, God. Oh, I thought I was going to jump over and die. around and just like touch stuff all right that's fine oh every time i go to leave search took out the tablet okay so every time i go to start running away he, he does something oh. hi oh okay never mind i don't want to talk to you anyway weird lady who's probably my mom stuck on each other. Okay. Marge. Good morning, Serge. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you, young man, were still off in Never Never Land. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Yeah, yeah, probably. All right, demon cat move. Hi, non-demon cat. You're welcome. Have uh, you got any, like, weird, like, lots of money laying around and, like, weapons? No? Okay. We gotta go find Lena. Oh, this is a very colorful and bright and vibrant village. This is Lena. Somewhere else. Okay. Yippee! dude just jumped in the water. Who are you? That's Lena. Oh, I found her immediately. I'm, I'm really good at this game, apparently. <clears throat> You're late, Serge. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? That seems unsafe. Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo! Sergey, Lena, look at me! Come on, you guys should join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Okay, gotcha. Is that a boat? 
Looks like a boat. Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our minds. How each day lasted an eternity filled with newness, fun, and excitement. Yeah, I actually do remember that. But the important thing now is not our childhood. But my Komodo Dragon Scale Necklace. That, yeah, well, that tracks. Yes! We have to face up to reality and live each day anew. So, I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault you were late. Once you've collected some Komodo Dragon Scales, I'll catch up with you at Opasa Beach. Is that okay with you? Uh, yeah, I guess it's fine. Good, that's what I wanted to hear. Okay, then. Stand around, go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see, I think three should be enough. Good luck, Surge. I'm counting on you. Good luck, Commander. Hey, who dis? Hey. Oh, never mind. N nothing? Sorry? Oh. It's you, Sag. Beautiful day, huh? You caught me dozing off there. By the way, Sag, do you like the sea? Not really. Sure, yeah, it would be nice. Oh, really? Yeah, the sea sure is great, but just remember, Serge, don't take it too lightly. Usually you'll find the sea to be vast, deep, full of strength and energy, yet kind and gentle. But once it becomes angry, it can turn into the most frightening monster you've ever seen. Engulfing everything, close your eyes and prick up your ears. Can you hear the cries of countless men swallowed by the sea? The hidden secrets? The deep, or the sea whispers? Uh, no. I recommend you learn to sense the mood of the sea. That's if you don't want to join. The fellow's already on the bottom. Well, that was horrifyingly dark, dude. What, don't talk to kids like that, man. What are you... What? Uh-huh. Hey, the pier's up ahead. Listen, don't be messing with those boats. I'm sure you understand. A boat is like a limb to our fishermen. Pull any stunts like last time, and I'll whack you in the head. Oh, well, that sounds fun. Hey, hey, psst, come here. Yo, Sergi, it's Una. I heard you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in you. That was real gutsy of you. I guess that kind of shows her who's boss, eh? Uh, uh, d don't tell her I said so, but my sister's a bit too quick to lash out. Could you, like, make her be a little nicer to me? You have my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. I ran. Hey, kid. Hey, Ser Ser Sergey. Please, no. Hey, Sergi. Uh, do you know what's popular around or among the village girls these days? A necklace made from Komodo dragon scales. Yeah, I've heard. You know those monsters that eat fire? I want to get some for Kiki, but there's no way I can beat those monsters. Oh no. If I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. I think, boy, am I in a fix. Yeah, I think maybe you guys should rename yourselves, I'm just saying. Alright, looks like there's a lot to do in town. Where does this lead? Oh, just, just out of town. Well, I'm going to go back to the village. I think we're going to probably end the episode in the village. But we have a direction, we have a path. we got to go get Komodo Dragon Scales from... Uh, Lizard Rock. Right, what do you guys say, man? Talk to me. Talk to me, Goose. Well, now, you're in Ar Arnie. What brings you here to this quiet seaside village? Oh, it's you, Serge. Just don't be going near Hydro Marshes to the east if you go outside. Don't want you to run into those evil dwarves in that Hydra now. You guys have evil dwarves in a Hydra in the, vil er, in the village? Or near the village? And you're fine with that on the island? Say, why don't you go talk to the village chief before you set out? This house is just past those gates down yonder. Uh -huh. It's totally on my to-do list. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to everybody outside, and then we're going to go start diving into all the houses and talk to everybody. Why, hello there, Serge. Can I interest you in something? I have some great elements. Would you like to take a look? Uh, show me your weapons and armor. Sure, just one sec. Oh, wait, I have the... Huh. I don't have any of this stuff. That's not going to help. Armor. 
accessories. Alright, well. You don't just have stuff for sale, you only forge things? Oh, these are armors that I can disassemble. Do I not have a weapon? I don't think I have a weapon. Alright, uh, yeah. Cool. I'll definitely come back to you at some point. Hey. Hello, Serge. Beautiful day today, isn't it? Uh, sure feels great outside. Ah, just being able to bask in the sun all day. Sure is a nice change. They say the rain cleanses one's spirit, but at our age, we've had enough cleansing. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. What's up, ma'am? I wonder if those soldiers are back at work digging that hole now that the rains have subsided. I don't know what they're up to, but it seems like soldiers are digging up all of Fossil Valley. I can't figure out what they're thinking. Why would they want to dig up a place like that? Wow, that is quite the catch there, man. Uh, Sergi, uh, check out the, so the sawfish. Awesome, ain't it? Poppy caught it down south by the El Nido Triangle. Nobody likes going down there, though. They're all, they all say it's creepy. But this sucker sure looks tasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yo, Serge, what do you think of this sawfish? You ever seen one this size? <laughs> this has got to be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, Serge? Heh, <laughs> you wish. You're probably right. Ah, oh, you think so too? I knew it, I just knew it. If it really is true, then from here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. Business will pick up, money will start pouring in, and I'll be able to repair my roof, varnish my boat, buy a new sail, eat as much squid gut pasta as I want in term Termina. Sure. Ah, life is good. Yeah, no, I don't, yeah, right, who am I kidding? That would definitely be too good to be true, but thanks anyway, Serge. <laughs> thanks for playing along. Here's a little something for you to give to a girl you like. Ooh, I received a Komodo dragon scale without lifting a finger. I'm amazing. I wish the legend was true, though. The Dragon King Palace. There aren't enough dreams out there lately. <laughs> yeah, I was just kind of in there, and then someone looked like they got got. Oh, there's so many more people to talk to. All right, excuse me, I gotta go talk to these background characters. Hey, hey, stop moving. Pink fluffy dog-like creature. Hello? It's Hoshul. Me am a bit busy right now, maybe next time. All right, what about you? Hey, Sergi, wanna pull, or oh, sorry, wanna hear a secret? It's about Hoshul. Sure. Okay, but keep it secret. Okay, ready? Pulsu is such a pig when it comes to eating, she'll do anything if you feed her her favorite dish. Very unladylike, isn't it? Tempted by food. I mean, I don't know what kind of ladies you've been hanging out with, but, you know, women like to eat too. I did everything just as Chief of Radius told me, and now the aches in my body are completely gone. What a fine man our Chief is, skilled, competent, caring, I heard he was quite a warrior in his prime. You could learn much from our chief and grow up to be a great man like Radius. He's, he's okay, but, you know, diameter is better. The record of fate tells me not to go out to sea today. That's why I'm here for the chief's lecture. Go against the record of fate and you'll regret it for sure. Days like this, it's best to take it easy. We should all live in harmony with fate. Yeah, I agree. Hi, Serge. I'm Ganji. I uh, know all? See all. I can tell you all you need to know about using key items. Sure. Good, good. I'd be happy to. Now listen carefully. Uh, when you want to give someone a key item, get within talking distance and press X. This will bring up the item menu. Then pick the item you wish to hand over and confirm your selection. If all goes well, the person should respond. It's the same procedure for when you want to use a key item at a specific location. Just select the item you wish to use. No need to worry about making mistakes. The item won't disappear if there's no response. Well, that's about it. Come to see me anytime. Should you have any questions, my boy? <laughs> All right. What's up, man? 
Oh, Serge, how goes it? We'll, we'll go full Deckard Kane on this one. How would you like to join everyone for my lecture? I can't see past my eyebrows, but that's okay. I don't need to see it, and it also keeps the sun out of my eyes. Today's lecture is the fundamentals of attack and the art of elements. Yeah, no, that sounds great, because I have no idea what I was doing. Excellent, a true man you are. Thank you. Well then, let's get on with it. Oh, oh god, oh, what is happening? Uh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, come on, Serge, don't hold back. Uh-huh. First, here's some basic advice on attacking, so listen up, youngin. You know that the three different attack levels, weak, strong, and fierce, one, two, and three, each have differing accuracy or hit values, don't you? I do now. Every time you hit your opponent, each of these values increases, making it easier for your next attack to hit its mark. Oh, okay. So light, 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 and then heavy, and you, okay, I got you, I got you. A good strategy is to start with a weak attack, which will have the highest chance of succeeding, and then build up to strong and fierce blows. So rather than attacking willy-nilly, you should aim to build up your hit. If your fierce attacks don't hit home, you're just wasting your energy. Oh god, it makes sense. Oh, he's gonna hurt me. Ow. 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 Alright, one. Oh ho ho, you're not even close. Don't be trusting in your hit percent chance too much there, boy. As long as it's not 100%, you still run the risk of missing continuously. Sometimes it pays to muster up the courage to use strong and fierce attacks straight from the start, too. Smack! <laughs> oh, I missed. Next, let's, let's check out the use of elements. When you use an element, the color of that element attribute remains on the battlefield in the form of the field effect. Okay. Each time you consecutively use the same color element, the effectiveness of that colored element group increases. Oh, okay. I figured it would go down. Here, I'll show you. Let's fill up all the field effect uh, attributes with the color blue. Try using the blue element after me. Turn blue. Pure one. Okay. Hey there, hurry up and turn all the field effect attributes blue for crying out loud. Don't know how to use the elements or something, youngin? Well, if that's the case, then listen up. It takes some explaining. First, you gotta choose attack to do some physical damage to your opponent in order to get started. Weak, strong, and fierce attacks each add one, two, or three points to your element power level. Your current level is the number that appears above the level symbol under your name there. This is getting confusing. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you, you won't accumulate any power unless you actually succeed in hitting your opponent. So be careful, you can't afford to miss. Okay, uh, discharging this accumulated power is what using the elements is all about. Once you've built up some power, you'll be able to choose the element option from the battle mode. When you select the element option, gray-colored rectangular plates appear on the screen, don't they? Those plates are the elements you currently have allocated. So, why don't you try using one of those blue elements you have there, boy? Relax, they won't disappear when you use them. You just won't be able to use them again for the rest of this battle, that's all. Oh. Once you enter another battle, you'll be able to use them again, so don't hold back now. But even though I say this, I still have to stress that you've got to consider the appropriate use of your elements. Otherwise, you'll never be able to beat some of the harder enemies you're bound to meet. You've got to form the proper strategy, boy. Oh, but wait, I'm forgetting something important. It must be my old age. <laughs> There are some elements that disappear in a puff of smoke each time you use them. The element X1 tablet is just one, for example. These are called consumable elements, and they have a symbol times one in front of their names. These don't regenerate after each battle. However, the benefit of such consumable elements is that you can allocate up to five of them on the same element grid space. 
Okay, doing so allows you to use several of them in the same battle, unlike basic elements, which normally can only be used once in battle. Yeah, okay, gotcha. That is why consumable elements also have a number such as X5 after their names. That's the number you currently hold in that group position. This number will decrease as the elements are used. However, after each battle, you can restock more to use next time. All right, enough about that. Or about actually using elements. I'm sure you'll notice that each of your... Or each time you use an element, your element power level, as shown, the level number will go down. It's just simple subtraction, really. For instance, say you're currently at level 3 and you decide to use a 1x tablet, uh, or x1 tablet, element allocated at your or at level 1 in your element grid. In this case, 3 minus 1 leaves 2, so your current element power level will now be changed to 2. You can use elements anytime, so long as your stamina value is above 1. Okay. So in this case, you'll be able to use element power with a level up of a level of up to two right after using the tablet. Did you get the gist of it? Sort of. Not really though. Sunny. Now, do you see the importance of developing good battle tactics? You could build up a little power, then use an element. Build up a little more power, then use another element. Repeating this over and over. That's okay. Or you can build up your element power to its max level and unleash, unleash a barrage of elements one after another. That's no problem either. Use whatever strategy you think will work to defeat the enemies you come across, it's up to you. There are hordes of monsters out there that you'll never be able to defeat with physical attacks alone. You're going to need to master elements to get by. Well, sorry for the long lecture there, Sonny. My explanation about elements is officially over. Why don't you try and use one now? I mean, I think I've got a pretty good idea what's going on. Oh, he's gonna get some water? Nope. Alright, so I'm gonna hit you with this. Then I'm gonna hit you with that. And then I'm gonna go to element. And that's all I've got, huh? What is this gonna do? What's this? You still haven't managed to turn all the field effects? Oh, oops. You expect old man to do everything? Alright, so he's gonna do it again. So, using that was a red field effect. Okay, I kinda get a, a little bit of a better idea now. See, the field is completely blue. Any blue uh, elements you use now will surely back punch. Here. Try this out. Aqua Ball. Is he teaching me Aqua Ball? Oh god. He's gonna hit me with an Aqua Ball. Not gonna feel good, is it? Did he kill me with it? Yeah, he did. <laughs> uh, let's see what's for you. Sorry about that, youngin. Conversely, when there's a lot of blue in the field effect attributes, the elements of the opposite color, red, will be weak in these sense. So try to discern your enemy's attack pattern and fill the field with the opposite color of his or her attacks as a form of defense. The strategy of using elements is sure to come in handy, so put it to good use, Sonny. We got wrecked by an old man. It's cool, though. Going for the element. Oh, I already used it, that's why. Uh, we'll go with another piece of that. How was that, boy? You learned something there? Anyway, I guess it's time to bring this lesson to an end. Here you go. Ha! You gonna smack me and bump knock me out. Ugh. Oh my god. Dude's brutal. I did learn a bunch of stuff, though. Pooped already, eh? Ah. And you're still so young. Oh well, don't let it get you down. Come again anytime, Sonny. Alright, that was weird. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much going to do it. We have a better understanding of how combat works in the game. And in the next episode, we'll run into the various different houses here in the town and see what's going on with that, and then we'll head off to get the remaining Komodo Dragon scales. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I had a uh, pretty good time. I had, I had a blast playing this so far. I'm definitely looking forward to more. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, any of that stuff will all be down below in the description of the video. Just like it always is, various links and things of that nature. And of course, like, subscribe, share, the YouTube algorithm stuff you must feed, folks. And until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.